Hi, it's Sarah Shaw of Entrepreneur, and I'm back again with video number two in my three-part video series. So in case you didn't catch the video number one, it's right upstairs there. You can click and watch it anytime. And just to recap, I talked about how to find out when buyers are buying and what they're buying when so that you can be more organized and have your collection ready so that you can make more money. And I also encouraged you to make a calendar so that you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing when and that you never miss out on anything. I'm getting more and more excited about my upcoming boot camp, and I hope you are too. One of the things I'm going to be talking about is how to communicate with your online shoppers and your store buyers in a way that's not pushy or overbearing, but keeps you at the forefront of their mind at all times. So this is a new method that I developed, which I'll be sharing in the program, and I think you'll find it really easy to implement. I'm going to be talking about some of these communication points in my video next week, so hopefully you'll be able to tune in to that as well. If you want to read more of the details about my boot camp, you can just click on one of the links above or below this video and it'll take you to the page with all the deets so that you'll be ready to, to uh, make a decision before February 27th when enrollment opens. Decisions! What decision is there to make? It's not even $300. This is like the deal of the century. It's a no-brainer! So I really hope you'll check it out and I'd love to have you participate with me and teach you everything that I've worked so hard to learn and want to share with you this year to make this the most amazing year in your business that you've ever had. So on today's video, I want to talk to you about blogging. I want to turn you into an expert at something so that your raving fans turn to you for everything they need as far as advice goes. Don't roll your eyes or cringe or be giving me the evil eye. I'm gonna show you some really simple methods so that you can blog. And what's so awesome about blogging is it's free, first of all, and that it really helps to raise your search engine optimization, your SEO, gives you way more brand exposure and will really help lower your Alexa rating as, as well so that you, your brand is much more well known out in the world and is much easier to find in the Google search engines. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create an avatar and she is going to be your ideal shopper. So this is somebody you're going to create out of your mind and you're going to create everything that you can about her as a person. So let's, for the sake of this video, let's create an avatar together so that we are on a common page. And um, let's say our stylish woman um, lives in the San Francisco Bay Area. She's got two children, ages two and four. She's married and her husband makes over $150,000 a year. Now it's very important to decide how much money they make because that is gonna give you a lot of different parameters about many different things in your business besides blogging. So. Um, get over the money thing and figure that out. <laughs> um, let's say, let's decide on things that she likes to do. Um, she's into fashion for herself, um, stylish clothing for her children, organic eating, um, organic gardening. She reads the New York Times on Sunday. Um, she, um, what else? She's into yoga and Pilates. She likes cocktails. Um, she buys in innovative and inventive types of toys for her kids um, and she's um, likes to do her hair and she kind of fancies herself an interior decorator okay so we've got this sort of picture of our make-believe shopper and um, and so now you want to take you want to take those interest categories essentially and start to break those down into groups of blog ideas so for example why don't we just take the gardening so if if since she likes to garden let's just say we're going to do we're going to make a list of blog ideas under the category interest of gardening so um, there could be how to winterize your garden how to prepare to plant bulbs um, how to seed your grass how to grow vegetables in pots how to care for your organic vegetables um, how to prune your roses um, how to feed your roses and care for them with coffee grounds. Uh, totally making all this stuff up. Um, <laughs> you can see where I'm going with this though. Um, how to attract more bees. Um, you know, how, what plants bring butterflies into your garden. So there's lots of different topics that you could, you know, you could go nuts and get 80,000 million, but if you can um, come up with about 10 different topics in each of your interest categories, it'll really make writing your blog posts a lot easier because you're not going to be 
sitting there thinking about it on blog post writing day, which you're going to have organized into your calendar from video number one, right? And, um, and so it really just makes things go a lot more smoothly. And I think you'll find it a lot easier to actually write when you've got this list in front of you and you can see what inspires you for that particular day. So the next thing that I want to talk about is actually writing the blog. <laughs> Don't freak out. You can always hire someone to do it if you're not a writer. So that's always something that's available and you can easily find blog writers all over the world. Um, so I like to mix up the blog posts, you know, so I think of like an original blog post as being somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 words. I'm not really into super long posts as you know, if you read my blog, you'll see they're pretty short and to the point. I just like to give, get, get out. <laughs> so um, I would suggest doing one, like 300 word, what I call the, like your original blog post each week. And then the next day, maybe you do something short. Um, let's stick on to the category of the gardening. So you've done something about how to um, garden in small pots in your, you know, if you don't have a big property. So vegetable gardening in small pots on Tuesday and then on Wednesday, maybe you do a short post on where you can actually buy the pots and the gardening you know, accoutrement that you need or the seeds, or maybe there's some cool seeds that you found online that you can order from some exotic place in England or something like that. So you could do a little post on that. And then maybe on Thursday, you could continue with your gardening week. Let's say you're doing a theme week. Um, you could do that and do a, something else on uh, Thursday about gardening or you could just do like a random q and I like to have Q&A's on my blog because it also gives people a reason to interact with you so you it also is another reason to email and communicate with your mailing list because you're talking you know soliciting questions for your blog so that'll be part of next week's communication <laughs> video that I'm going to talk about but anyway um, so so there's different ways that you can organize your blog it can be you know some people you see do like tip Tuesday or something and they have some cute little tip that they offer on Tuesday and maybe Wednesday they do food and Thursday they do exercising. So it's just really a question of how you want to organize your blog. You could have theme weeks or theme days or just do random posts, you know, about whatever you think that your uh, target market avatar wants to, you know, read about and learn about. So it's really up to you. There's no like set rules about that, but I think it's really great if you can develop a plan. <laughs> and that's actually one of the things I'm going to talk about in the boot camp is I'm going to elaborate on this topic and give you ways to use social media to help create your blog posts so that your whole business feels coordinated and it's going to be really cool. So we'll take that a whole lot further in the boot camp. Because as more people come to your website and even just they're clicking on the blog post, maybe they're not actually getting ready to buy anything yet, but as they're coming to click on your blogs and read them to, you know, three, two or three times a week, even once a week, if you can get somebody there, it makes a huge difference in how Google uh, looks at your search engine ranking and really will start to move you up, which, and ultimately all of that does result in more sales, which of course means more money cha ching in your bank account. So your homework for this week is to create your avatar and then take a look at all of those interest categories and start to list out all the different blog topics that you could do underneath each of those interest lists. And if you could get 10 each, that would be a huge step forward. And then your second homework assignment is to go ahead and write three blog posts and you can do it in any way you want. Like I mentioned, it can be a theme week, it can be random posts, it can be certain types of blogs every on the specific day every week. But I really would encourage you to get three posts up next week and I would love to see them. So if you email it to me, I will totally check it out and I'll leave a comment and I really look forward to seeing them. So I hope you'll invite me. So next week's video is going to be about communication and I am going to start to give you a few tips and tricks about how you can communicate with people and really let them know about your blog and really start to engage your customers in a different way. And I'll get into way more of that in the boot camp, but I'm going to give you a get go starter, starter kit next week. So I really hope you'll join me and until then, when in doubt, take the next step.